go ahead. Okay. So my name's Anne Solomon, and I'm a professor at SFU, and I spend a lot of time on and under the water, just like those ducks. <laughs> I spend a lot of time studying kelp forests, and this may come as a surprise to you, but kelp forests here in BC are way different than they were even 150 years ago. Some of these great, vast kelp forests were probably some of the earliest coastal migration routes for maritime people to the Americas. And that's because these kelp forests are so productive. They pro provide the fish, the seals, the sea lions, all the shellfish that people use to sustain their travel. So underwater, you can imagine uh, swimming about amongst these fronds of kelp up in Haida Gwaii where we spent a lot of time in the central coast. You can see the light shining in and they illuminate all the young little herring recruits and little rockfish recruits that you see in the water. So here in, in BC we have uh, bull kelp or neurocystis which is one of the main big laminarian kelps we see that make up kelp forests and macrocystis which is a giant kelp. One of them is a perennial, it's macrocystis. It lives for uh, three, four, five years, depending on how the waves may dislodge them. Neurocystis is an annual, it lives for about a year, and it grows like gangbusters, up, up, some people say up to a foot a day or more in the peak growing season.